Hello again, here I am, back for part two. I just disappeared at the end of part one. I was, um, I was asking you if you would be interested in um, buying uh, the stickers of the, the paintings and art that I do. And I, I was going over to my drawer to, to, to look for them. But anyway, there. Um, I'm just showing you a few of the larger size stickers, and basically they're all of trees, or my girls I call them. Um, some for animal of animals. This is a pussy cat. Um, trees and my girls and some animals. Um, this is a piggy. Of, of, of my work um, and I use them um, you know to to put in my journals um, so I, I have many many um, different types of stickers and also do um, can do um, sticker books which um, uh, have a whole book of stickers that are um, much smaller stickers so they would they would fit in a in a day slot in your planner um, and uh, again of trees and, and animals and birds and, and flowers and uh, and that sort of thing but I can put any of, of the large stickers into the small books here and 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 these are a lot of stickers and um so far i've um i've only given them away to my collectors and my um clients so um if you think you would be interested um in those for your journals just um write in the comments and let me know and um, then I can um, make them available. Pricing, I, I have no idea yet. I'd have to price them out. Um, and so let's get back. I was showing you my new toffee, Mr. Darcy, from um, Chic Sparrow in narrow size. And I was doing a little flip through um, from my January um, planning and, and, and journaling and I was just flipping through um, my my journals to share with you um, what I do um, so it's it's a mixture of um, stamping stickers um, I use the um, Tim Holtz um, ink stamps with a little sponge um, and sometimes the ink stamps just um, by themselves um, to to decorate the pages um, and then here again uh, is one of my stickers I'm just going to um, leave out a few pages there because it's, um, it's a bit personal um, which probably means I'm having a little rant. Um, so that's that took me from January the 1st to I think the 20th. And then I started on a uh, Tomo River insert from Steve Cano um, from Cano book binding and I'll link that um, down below they're one of my favorite inserts that he makes because they're the Tomo River paper and they're sewn they're hand sewn um, again I've just used a couple of my stickers to begin with and this is um, also with the Tim Holtz um, ink and some cutouts from a magazine and my stickers and some Project Life tippins um, and then sometimes 
uh, just sticking on a piece of an old book here and some photographs and again some some cutouts from magazines this is some tissue paper I've used with a stamp over the top and just some washi tape and stamps and again you know if you're not an artist to to get one of these stamps and then you know paint it in watercolor just fill it in with different watercolors um, or the zig color pens you know whatever you feel like whatever's easiest for you and relaxing and that gives you pleasure um, I was saying in, in part one of the video you have to make this your journals all about you what works for you what what gives you pleasure what's easy for you um, not not anything that would stress you out I um, last year I did um, my traveler's notebook and I also did a Hobonichi and I ordered the Hobonichi Techo and the A5 this year and I've hardly touched them and I just realized you know it's just too much to write in those and to write here um, I didn't want anything that put pressure on me I wanted only um, I only wanted to do what I wanted to do that was fun and that was relaxing and that gave me pleasure. Um, the, the journal is mine. I don't want it to look like anyone else's. Um, I get fabulous ideas from other people and how they do their journals. Um, and I love to watch, as I'm sure most of you here who are watching, love to watch people's um, YouTube videos on on everything they're doing um, I just I get so many ideas um, it's so inspirational um, but it all boils down to finding out what you know gives you joy and what you really enjoy doing in your journal and you know it's it's a journey and a process and um, it should be the most enormous fun and you know if you're getting stressed out at all or feel pressure to you know to to you know finish something or to write in every day or uh, you know then that's no fun I mean I I don't write every day I do I do write most days because I absolutely love it. I get so much pleasure, and um, I love I love to to you know sit down and write in the evening about my day and and just with my with my you know paint palette next to me and some water or or you know or my zig pens just doodle uh, doodle and have fun. Um, and the, the other thing I want to share with you, instead of my Hobonichi this year, um, to go with my, my TN, I uh, purchased this Year of the Doodle Book. And this is another thing. I was saying at the beginning of the last video, the Daisy Dory um, insert, the reason I like it is because it's sort of pre-formatted and, and so it's really, really easy to add on to it. And this is the same, this year of the doodle, it has each date and on, on, on each date, one, it has a suggestion what you might want to doodle there and two, it, um, it's got all these different backgrounds. I mean, it's just so, so fun. Um, and then what you do is, is, is you add to it what you want to. And so for me, um, I, I, I got this later on in the year. So 
Um, I, I mean, just not, I didn't have it at the beginning of January, so I, I went back and I added some of my stickers again and, and wrote in, wrote in some things. Um, but then I started, um, you know, just doodling in it every, every day. Um, and it's just so much fun and it's, it's to inspire and, you know, just, just, you can write in it, you can do, you can draw shapes in it, you can just put some color down in it. Um, and I am really, really enjoying this. It, it, it's just so fun. It's so easy. Um, anyway, so that's sort of um, what I'm doing this year. I'm doing my, my TN and um, my doodle, my, my doodle book, Year of the Doodle. Um, you know, so I stamp in here and I add, I add um, color, the watercolors. In fact, let me turn on the electric light because then I think you'll be able to see the iridescence of the Daniel Smith watercolors. if you can see I've got the shadow but I wonder if you can see the iridescence of mm, I don't know if you can can't tell but anyway so that's what I'm really really enjoying um, this has got iridescence on it really enjoying um, with my TN and uh, and this book so, hope you've enjoyed this. I hope it gives you some ideas. Um, I hope that, if like me, it can release you from being, uh, uh, to being less precious about your journals and how they look and just really start using them for you, how you want to um, and, and what works and, and, and just... Um, really start just just putting down that color and you know however you want to use them so thank you so much for watching uh, I really appreciate you being here if um, please subscribe if you'd like to and see you very soon